Good day, brethren. You're welcome to RCCG New Covenant Parish's Open Heavens Daily Devotional. The Open Heavens Daily Devotional is written by our Father and the Lord, the General of Asiel Rodin Christian Church of God, Pastor E. Adeboy. And I pray that as you join me today, God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, November 15, 2024, we are looking at topic, The Bible, Gender, and Sexuality, Part 2. Our memory verse is taken from Leviticus 18. Uh, verse 22, which says, Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. And our text is taken from Luke, Leviticus 18, 22 to 30. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. Neither shalt thou lie with any beast to defile thyself therewith. Neither shall any woman stand before a beast to lie down thereunto. It is confusion. Defile not ye yourselves in any of these things. For in all this the nations are defiled which I cast out before you, and the land is defiled. Therefore I do visit the iniquity thereof upon it, and the land itself vomited out our inhabitants. Ye shall therefore keep my statutes and my judgments, and shall not commit any of these abominations, neither any of your own nation, nor any of your stranger that sojourneth among you. For all these abominations have the men of the land done, which were before you, and the land is defiled. That the land spew not you out also, when ye defile it, as it spewed out the nations that were before you. For whosoever shall commit any of these abominations, even the souls that committed them shall be cut off from, from among their people. Therefore shall ye keep my ordinance, that ye commit not any of these abominable customs, which are committed before you, and that ye defile not yourselves therein. I am the Lord your God. Our text is, Today I will continue my teaching on what the Bible says about gender and sexuality. That's according to our Father in the Lord. The Bible makes it clear in today's memory verse that it is an abomination to have sexual relations with someone of the same gender. Homosexuality might have been painted as normal in some societies, but anyone who's a, who engages in it is committing an abomination. Today's Bible reading says that if people who engage in homosexuality do not repent, their souls will be cut off from amongst the people. It says further that the nations and places in which such acts are encouraged will be punished and will not know peace. Do not imbibe these ideologies from such societies. The word of God is yea and amen. God's word says that such people and societies will be punished. So we must stay away from, from their ideologies and intensify our prayers for them. So, in continuance of um, the teaching from our Father and the Lord, we are seeing here that the Bible f- forbids um, sexual relations between people of the same gender. And here we are being told that in some societies it may be acceptable, but as children of God, this should not be um, something that we imbibe. Rather, we should pray for such societies, not to imbibe such ideologies, because the Bible calls such a thing an abomination. And as children of God, we are expected to follow uh, the Bible. When you read about Sodom and Gomorrah, the cities that God destroyed with fire and brimstone, you will see what can happen to societies that are defiled by homosexuality, according to Genesis 19, 1-25. Even though they were initially said to be flourishing and seemed like the perfect places to live in Genesis 13, 8-12, they were eventually destroyed due to the wickedness and immoral acts of their inhabitants. Even after they were invaded by enemies and Abraham came to their rescue in Genesis 14, 1 to 16, they continued proudly in their abominations. And this led, this eventually led to their destruction. In Isaiah 3, verse 9, the Bible says, The shoe of their countenance doth witness against them, and they declare their sin as Sodom. The eye did not. Woe unto their soul, for they are rewarded evil unto themselves. So we see a case of Sodom and Gomorrah that God destroyed because of the practices that were going on in such a, in such society where you know men were sleeping with men and at some point when angels went to visit um, those cities they even wanted to sleep with the angels that society was very uh, depraved so we need to be very careful about the habits we we uh, we imbibe these are not habits to be encouraged rather we should pray for people who engage in such um, activities. Beloved, do not partake in such evil rewards. Don't believe the lie that some people are born homosexual. Homosexuality is an abomination before God because it's not part of his original design. 
It is a devilish act that is intended to destroy the lives of people and tamper with the work of God. If you have been engaging in homosexuality, pray to God for deliverance from the manipulation of the devil and see a genuine minister of God to pray with you. Beloved, God loves you and brought this message to you so that you can either be delivered or used to deliver others. So if you have been engaging in this um, act of homosexuality, I want you to know that God can deliver you. It is not the natural order of things. God made man and woman, not the other way around. And as the Bible has recorded, that it's an abomination before God. So let us turn to God. If we be engaging in these practices, let us stop. You can seek for a genuine minister of God to pray with you for deliverance and let it stop. Um, the Bible forbids it. And as Christians, it is forbidden. We are not expected to practice such um, ideologies. And I pray that God will help us. And as many as are seeking deliverance, that you'll be delivered in Jesus' name. Our prayer point is, Father, please deliver everyone who is involved in homosexuality today in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Lord, we want to say thank you for your word to us today. Lord, we ask that as many as are seeking deliverance from homosexuality, from the spirit of homosexuality, Father, we ask that you deliver them in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask, Lord God Almighty, that you restore them in the mighty name of Jesus. Save them, save their souls, save them from destruction in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you.